Hi, it's Chester Tuggle at Blue PKN Computer Training. In this video, which carries on from my last video actually, looking at conditional formatting applied to charts using VBA. In the last one, what we did is we had a target and we said that every sales value over the target or equal to or over the target uh, appeared as a blue bar, a blue column in our chart and anything below the target appeared as red. So this follows on and what we're going to do here is we're going to say that the top value, the greatest sales value across these 12 months is in blue and the lowest sales value is in red. Now I've started the sub procedure for you. Uh, one thing to note, just draw down this little window here, is that I've saved this sub procedure within a module, something in the module is within this sheet object. Sheet one is where the chart resides. And the sub procedure is going to run on a worksheet event. So what you do up here, you have to choose worksheet from that list. And then over here, you can choose the event that you want the procedure to automatically run on. So I've chosen change. You can see that in the first line of the sub procedure. It's running on the worksheet change event. So what that means is if I change any value on this worksheet, the sub procedure will automatically run, which basically means if I change any of these values and say I have a new lowest value, it will automatically update my chart. Same with the new highest value. So let's look at the sub procedure that I've started. Basically, I've declared three variables, one for the chart, and I've set that as the chart object one. So if you've got many charts within a sheet, you can refer to that particular chart with a number. There's only one chart in the sheet. So number one's the one I want to refer to. And then S as series, so series is basically like your column of data that you're going to display in the chart. Um, I've only got one, it's called unit sold. So I've set the variable to refer to that series. That'll just make my code down here much, much easier. And then what I've done, oh, I've also got this other variable that we use later on. And that'll make sense later on as I go through that. But this last bit of code here is quite important. Um, I do need to set the color of the other data points within the series. I've set them to gray with an RGB value, 165, 165, 165, and that needs to be in there as well. So at the moment, if I change something in my chart, let's change June's value to 1,200, all the, the data points go gray, all the columns go gray within my chart. Now to get the top and bottom values to change color, I'm gonna use a for next loop and that's basically going to loop through all the data points in this unit sold series and work out whether the, the value associated with that data point is the highest value or the lowest value in that series. So for next loop, I'm going to start with that variable that I set up here, i, for i equals one to the number of data points in that series series in our series and I can get to that by just saying s points dot count then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say uh, next i so I'm going to use a if statement within our for next loop I'm actually going to create two if statements one that will work out whether it's the maximum value another that will work out whether it's the minimum value so the first one I can say if s dot values the first value in the series, so that would be my variable i. If that value is the maximum value, now the way to work out whether it is the maximum value is to use the max function, which is an Excel fun function. So to get to that, I can say um, application dot worksheet function dot max you've probably used that before with an excel that'll do the trick so is it the 
maximum value within this series values? That's the question I'm asking. Then I'll come on down onto a new line, otherwise we're gonna run out of space on this recording window. So if that is true, then S points one, uh, I rather, not one I, referring to that variable that the for next loop is using. Uh, I'm gonna change its interior color. Top color equals RGB and the red I, uh, no, the blue I want is 51, 102, 204. Okay, now I'm going to kind of write the other if statement with the recording turned off. So it'll just be quicker for you to see, then I'll show you and explain uh, what that if function actually does. Uh, so welcome back. Yep, I've done this other if statement for you. In fact, the only thing that's changed is min there, whereas it was max. And I've also changed the RGB values there, and that's the RGB for red. Okay, so we've actually finished our four next loop. Let's see if this actually works. So I'm gonna go up here. Let's say we change February's figure to the highest figure. So if I change that to 7,000, that automatically gets the blue color. And you can see that May was the lowest value. So it automatically got the red color. I'll change um, October to an even lower value, let's say 300 and October gets the conditional formatting, the red conditional formatting. Okay, so there is another video, which as I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, explains how to do conditional formatting sales versus target. I've also done another video that will explain how to use VBA to actually create a chart and format it, looking at lots of different formatting attributes. Please remember to subscribe if you find this useful. I try to do videos as often as possible. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully it's been helpful. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.